WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 3rd of April. And this is fascinating because I'm anticipating some kind of a balance today. We haven't really got Oh, we just got it. As I'm talking for this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update, the Dow's up 57 at 39,228. It went right to the Chapman Wave inside track support level. This is the propellant level and it's trying to balance. We'll see what happens because as soon as it starts to trade, the Dow trades under 39,000 should happen in the next, uh, in the next couple of days. That's going to be a problem. But so far, there's some residual strength. So the residual strength says that the S&P is up 6 at 52.12, uh, holding above the 14-period moving average. The QQQ is trading at um, unchanged, 441.0. Oh, uh, this is moving quickly, 441.10. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, up 70 cents at 205.22. Gold. What can I say? New recovery high, all-time high actually, at 23.03 right now. It hit 23.08.8. Uh, leg D it should start to pull back at any point from here. It's a leg D in the weekly chart. Monthly chart is only a leg B. Uh, I'm calling it a B for now. But most importantly, um, all the technicals are really very good at this particular time, although the stochastic is only at 78, not over 80%. But uh, this is really excellent. So I'll talk about this when I get back um, for my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, because there are so many aspects to this market, and certainly over the last six months, that are so completely different to usual. If the dollar goes up, then gold comes down. Gold goes down, uh, dollar goes up. But no, look at this. Uh, dollar's only down seven ticks. Um, so this is really going to be quite interesting what's going on. Most important, as far as I'm concerned, is that the yields are going higher. We're down almost a half a point again, 170 and 11, 30 seconds in the bonds and crude oil. Now, this is going to be very important as well because we've got crude oil in leg C in the daily chart. Daily, uh, daily, uh, yeah, this is in the daily. It's up 70 cents at 85.85. I said a move into the 83.70, 84.30 area is going to be kind of a breakout in the very short term. That's kind of what we've got right now. So that's impacting many things. The Dow's now for 128, S&P's up 13. Fascinating market. We'll be right back with the Tiger Technicians. 